Welcome back, everyone. Talking about commerce in Nashville, commerce uh, that is reliable, dependable, trustworthy. Happy to have with us the CEO of the Better Business Bureau, Kathleen Calligan. And we are taking your calls. And let's go to uh, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hey, y'all. Uh, I hate to be so negative, but I, I really have a complaint for the BBB. In, in essence, I, I don't think I'll ever use anybody that has a, uh, is a member of the BBB because of the experience that I've had in the past five or six years, first with the carpenter, and I had already had a, lot, a roofer lined up that was a BBB uh, roofer, and they came out a couple of weeks later, and they were horrific. Uh, it's short of vandalism of some of the stuff they did around my property, and, and, and the foreman that they had left with that roofing company, and, and the last one was a mechanic a year ago, and I went in for an estimate and told him what I wanted was done, and he said, I didn't need all that done. Well, it needed to be replaced, but when I went back to have it done, he really did a number on my vehicle. Things that weren't even related to what he did had been messed up. I mean, probably two or $3,000 worth of stuff, which once again, I'm like, Aren't y'all BBB? And I got my vehicle back with parts missing. Well, let me ask you, did you file a complaint? I did not file a complaint, and I'll tell you why. Because the first guy, when he drug a one-day labor job into three and a half days, you know, I had to get the roof put on. But when the roofer came along and, and they had done some stuff that they did not complete, and I had paid them for more than half the job, they brought five big men out with him and I was by myself but a friend of mine came over you know happened to come over and she was intimidated by the way he was talking to me and up my face and I thought you know I don't mind having you correct a problem but when like the mechanics job that went so way over the top and I had gone to him and he told me that I didn't know what I was talking about this part missing off my vehicle and which I did and then he told me it was no longer available and 30 minutes after I left his mechanic shop I called up the uh, dealership and had right. it on order and it was there in a week all right well let's let's Tonight, talk about let's talk about all that all right so there you have somebody oh, what do you think Lucy here? thank you for that call and you know the process is incomplete. Every business that you have a problem with, whether it's an accredited BBB member or it's a non-BBB member, if you don't voice the problem, the Better Business Bureau can't address that. No business is going to be able to run from their customer's reputation with them. And if you've had this sounds this sounds like you've had three um, you've had three customer issues that I understand that you might be intimidated with, but you have to do the right thing. You're allowing a business to to perform inadequately with you and their reputation to go unchecked. The BBB needs to hear about that, and we we would be protect your your uh, identity. We would help you um, help other customers, and most importantly, you would help the BBB remove that uh, accreditation and their membership if they were not responsible to the code they had committed to. So this has to work full circle. The customer the business and the BBB. That's how we get to ethical commerce. I wish I could do something about something I don't know about, but my staff can't do that, Ben. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, so, I'm very disturbed that Lucy calls in with three unhappy customer experiences with any company in Middle Tennessee, but that it was a BBB accredited business. We could have done something about that. And you are so passionate about what has happened if, in, in this situation is money went to a business that maybe didn't deserve it. Absolutely. And there are many other businesses that do deserve it. And add this to it, they're treading on the valuable century-year-old reputation of the Better Business Bureau. 
That's that's even another and, level. And I'm out of, I'm out of the equation. I can't do anything about it because I don't know anything about it. What are the businesses that are these? That, that, those strike me as businesses where number one people have a lot of questions, and number two, it would be very difficult to maybe regulate. She's talking about mechanics, she's talking about a roofer, that kind of thing. Are these some of the most challenging? Absolutely. Home improvement, construction, this is an imperfect, at best, industry. It's imperfect. It's like going to the doctor, I have a sore throat what's wrong with me <laughs> you know and you take this and you come back next week you still have a sore throat so sometimes it's a process of elimination sometimes the business gets it right the first time but that is what the best avenue for the BBB to come into the customer is unhappy you need an advocate it's the BBB mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and all right so Let's go through what the customer does. They, if they filed a complaint, you said they could be anonymous. Yeah, we uh, we would. We if there is fear that customer feel, fears that they've been intimidated. Um, that wasn't the owner of the company out there on that job site. Right, right. Was it? Probably no, not. No, it was an, an employee most of the time. So. The Better Business Bureau would go straight to the owner of the company, not even have to reveal who the customer is until we got some uh, more information about what was going on on, that, on this particular job. Mm -hmm. To protect the, we understand that sometimes um, women living alone, seniors, th they're intimidated. We don't want that to be exploited in any way, but there's always a path to resolution. Well, let's go to Taylor on line three. Hello, Taylor. Good evening, and good evening to your guests. Thank you. I've watched her for many years on this show. And Absolutely. Thank you. Only voice for consumers in this area, and by the way, they handle a lot more than just Nashville. They handle all of Middle Tennessee, as I recall. but. I have been burnt on a few occasions, I won't get into those, but in each of those occasions, I hadn't called your office and got a report. Let me tell you how easy it is. If I'm going to have my car worked on tomorrow by someone I don't know, I can write down their phone number, telephone BBB tonight, and get an automated report, which is absolutely terrific. And so I thank her for the work she oh, does thank you. and the um, businesses that cooperate with them. And if you see a BBB sign in a window and it's got a year, 10 years ago, they may have been a member for one year, but they're still so proud of their sign they left it up. <laughs> it may be very unethical. So, Or they forget to change it. That happens too. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> And that's why you always, uh, at the end of that report, he's talking about getting over the phone. It, we will say this is, a, and the, how long they've been accredited with us. Uh, and it's um, in our published reports on our website as well. But this is a, I, for, I many times forget that we first started serving consumers um, through our automated telephone service years ago. It was an instant hit and a lot of people still use it. Uh, most people use the website but I do want to remind your listeners you can dial in as well. Taylor, thank you for calling in. Always great to hear from you. Taylor, let's go to Barbara. Hello, Barbara. Yes. Hi, what's on your mind? What'd you say? What's on your mind? I think you need to turn down your TV. Oh, okay. I should do that. Thank you for telling me. Yes, ma'am. And then, okay, are you ready? Can you talk now? Yes, I do. Yes, I can. All right, go right ahead. One real concern that I have, and I'm not the only person who has this, this problem, is with Verizon. There was one company that I was never able to stop, even through Better Business Bureau, the problems that we have because they have more areas to stack these things in than, say, you all do. I don't know, but many, many, many of my friends 
My second was a tremendous problem, but you can't solve a problem with Verizon through Better Beauty Bureau or with Verizon. I've tried too many times. All right, well, let's talk about that. Thank you. You know, um, that's a huge company. It's, tele it's telecommunications. Um, I cannot, I can't even remember how many complaints this, this company has nationwide. <laughs> it's huge. Right. And, and yes, they're, they're, they have um, customer service that certainly is lacking. And solving the problem takes so much patience and um, it is very difficult. I wish that this uh, Verizon was uh, located, headquartered in our service area. Unfortunately, it's not. We don't handle those complaints, but uh, we have to hand them off to another Better Business Bureau. But yeah, I understand. I've been where you are, <laughs> personally, as a consumer, so I understand that. Um, that is, and that's interesting. That brings up an interesting point. I mean, obviously, so we've talked about like a roofer mm -hmm. that may be very, very local mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. Then you get a Verizon, which is enormous. What is and what has presents, millions of customers? Right. What yeah. presents more challenges? Absolutely, it's the huge, the huge corporations one. that are not headquartered in this in this area that we have no influence over, but we have lots of their customers. So yeah, it's a huge challenge for better business bureaus. It's a huge challenge for uh, state com consumer affairs offices. Uh, everyone. But you could still give a report. Absolutely. Like such and such company Absolutely. is not responding yeah. and that's not good. Mm -hmm. And you know that's why a, a savvy consumer understands um, one thing that you can put in, through with every transaction you make. Um, if there's not, a, if you haven't had an experience with the company you're done do business with, don't enter into long-term contracts. Uh, service contracts for a vehicle, um, that's maybe an extended warranty. Uh, we had a caller about alarm service. A year right. at the most. Right. Phone service, a year at a most. Cable, all of those things. <laughs> Long-term contracts until you have an experience and you are a, you know if you're going to be a happy camper or not. And then at the end of that contract you can say no I'm going someplace else. But what do we do as consumers? Most of the time we want the best deal and that means a long-term contract. Right. Uh, that's true. That's a mm -hmm. good point. Let's go to Betty. Hello Betty. Hello. Hi. What's on your mind? Well I'm calling about my uh, my service well, it's a, it's a, I, I would tell you the name of it, but I guess I better not. <laughs> it's a, uh, ADT is what it is. It's a, <laughs> oh, you just told us the name. So this is a, a security company. <clears throat> yes, it is. And you've had some problems? I am. I, what happened? I never did t take care of things. And my husband passed away, so I had to take care of everything. So my family decided I need uh, uh, security. Well, now, Betty, did you did you look um, them up at the Better Business Bureau or use the Better Business Bureau? I did not. No, I did not. Well, well Betty, let us help uh, help you now. If you're having any problem with your security service provider, let BBB uh, help you with that. You can you can use the internet, you can go to our website, it's so easy, go bbb.org, or you can just look us up in your local directory, call, a service rep will be happy to help you. Um, ADT is a huge company, but I can tell you from experience that uh, they are extremely responsive to the Better Business Bureau. They want you to be a happy company. And I think, yeah. as a consumer, I think when you're when you're grading a business, there's so many ways to do it. But it is interesting to me that the way that you do it is, do they respond? Mm -hmm. And 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 really, that's key. Yeah. You know, do they want to talk to a Are consumer? Are they interested or a in, in their customer? Yeah. After they've after the sale. And that is huge. Yeah. All right, we are going to take a break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about a big event that's coming up. But we're going to uh, take a break. Uh, we can take a couple more calls if you want. Um, and also, we have other big stuff to talk about. So we'll take a break. We'll be back right after this.